Let's check out a few new commands that'll be very practical and simple too. We won't go into much detail. The first command is called WC. It simply calculates the number of lines, characters, and words within a file. So if I take our example file and do a WC on it, we can see there are 400 lines, 405 words, and 7446 characters in it. WC can take more than one file as a parameter. So doing WC space asterisk will give the number of lines, words, and characters for all files in the directory. This command, just like any other command we've seen, can read on the standard input. So if I do a cat on our file and retrieve the number of Thomas and then redirect it with WC space dash L to get only the number of lines, I can see that there are seven Thomas in the database. It's quite practical for counting results. Another basic command, the command file. File will simply give us info on a file passed as a parameter. Here we can see that this file is in UFD8, and that's it's a text file. So it's got a MIME type that corresponds to text. We can see it's magic, etc. Another command, ifconfig, which gives info on your network. With ifconfig, you can display your IP and your MAC addresses, etc. Last simple command, more or less, the bc command. BC is very simple. It's a calculator. So if you type 2 plus 3, it'll return 5. However, BC is very powerful. It can run scientific calculations such as sine, cosine, exponents, powers, etc. It can convert number bases, start with a base 2, and return the result in base 16, etc. So BC is quite practical, and on top of that, it reads from the standard input. So if I do echo 1 plus 2 and pipe it in BC, it'll return 3. Let's say I want to calculate the number of lines or something like that. BC allows me to do so. The last command we'll see in this video is slightly more complicated, but not that hard. The command find. By default, find lists all files within a directory, passed as an argument. So if we do find, space, dot, it'll list all files present in the current directory. If we do find, space, slash, USR, it lists all files in, slash, USR. Please note it searches recursively, so it also goes through subdirectories. Find is powerful, because it allows us to filter files we want. Simple filtering example, filter by name. Let's say I want all files starting by ls. We can see it returns all related files. We can also filter by last modification date, filter by size, filter depending on whether it's a file, a directory, or an executable. It also allows you to perform actions on files. We can display them, delete them, or even run other commands. If you want to know more about its capability, read its man. Look it up on the internet, check out how people use it. Possibilities are endless. Last thing I'd like us to see, the environment. What is it? It's simply a list of variables in shell that will be automatically sent to all your binaries and scripts. So if we do env, it will display the list of variables. We can see that it works by a key slash value system. So path has all this value. Path can be used to tell the shell where to look for binaries. Here you can see that the user is called vocal. You can see the terminal used here, it's xterm. So what's it good for? You can use it to configure your shell scripts. Let's say we want to add a variable line corresponding to the line number. The script seeks, we can do line equals 3. If we look at the environment, the line variable has been created with a value of 3. If you want to access it, just type dollar $line. If we do an echo of the dollar $line variable, 3 will be displayed. 
because dollar line will simply get replaced by its value. So those variables should allow you to configure your shell scripts and later on help you configure what we call make files to change behaviors depending on the environment variables.